everybody welcome back to my channel how you doing lovely lovely anyway welcome back how are you does my hair look weird like this i just wanted it up up and away don't because it is annoying me at the moment i'm like debating Oh my god, listen, this is so off topic. Listen, no, this is life update. Like two or three years ago. Ew, no way 2021 was three years ago. So I cut my hair in 2021. I'll insert some pictures. My hair used to be like, I never used to cut my hair. Like I would get trims, but like I dead ass just didn't cut my hair really for like 10 years. So my hair was like super long. And I cut my hair in 2021 um, because I donated it to a cancer charity. And my hair was like here, maybe. And it was so much more manageable. And I low-key want to go back. But I know that if I do, I would hate it because I did hate it when it was short. But like I low-key like, loved just like keeping up with it. Because my hair now... And, like, it's back to being kind of long, like, the shampooing, the condition, the hair mask, purple shampoo. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, that's so off topic. But, like, I want to do it. But I also have concerts coming up. I'm like, I don't want to, like, be self-conscious in my photos if I don't like it. Anyway, point of this video. But, like, I got layers put in, like, a few months ago. And I keep my hair kind of, like, this length now. Kind of, like, I don't know how to show you. It goes down to, like, kind of maybe, like, under the boob area so girl stop focusing on ariana so much more manageable but i want to go shorter but maybe i'm just having a crisis anyway point of this video today we are going to talk about radley good old radley i like there's a saying in the show that's like all roads lead back to radley and i love it so much because truly everything leads back to radley but i thought we could talk about kind of like everybody who goes there in the story and kind of like the history of it i feel like we all know what radley is radley is kind of the like mental institution that a lot of characters go to when they kind of go off the rails a little bit radley kind of is in all honesty the center of the story a lot of cc story revolves around it a lot of like the whole bethany young story um as well as kind of like mona kind of like post reveal um so i thought let's kind of list off everybody who we were introduced to from radley the first time we're really properly introduced into radley is after mona's kind of stint as a when uh instead of being arrested she goes to radley after the season two reveal of her being a and i don't really know why she wasn't arrested after her little stint at radley to be honest I feel like she should have been arrested. But I digress. I love Mona. So I digress. Let's keep her out. Do you know what I mean? So Mona very much is there for a while until she returns back. Kind of like mid-season three. But during her time there, we see a person in a red coat um, visiting her. And at this time, this is when we were introduced to Vivian Darkbloom and kind of like Alison in the red coat type of thing. We learn that it was CC Drake because CC Drake had a stint in Radley, which we will get onto. Um, but we learn that CC kind of like visited Mona in Radley and kind of like stole the game from her. Um, so that really is like the importance of Radley in like the main story. It's kind of where a lot of the villains were born, to be honest. However, I didn't know this until the other day, which is a rarity. Rarity, because I'm involved in everybody's gossip. Do you know what I mean? Very nosy individual. Marlene King said that this was a hallucination. Um, okay, because no because now that she said it's a hallucination now i'm like the cc story makes less sense so i'm gonna pretend and ignore marlene king and pretend that it was not a hallucination and it was in fact real because that's the story that's in my head do you know what i mean do you know no because do you know what i mean hannah visits mona quite a lot 
in radley i really like the storyline that kind of goes on at this time because like hannah's like i can't really forgive her um and like the liars don't know that hannah's going to see her but i think hannah's quite hung up on that friendship still and still has a lot of love for mona even though what mona did to them so i kind of like the little battle that hannah has kind of within herself here i i don't know i really liked hannah's friendships because sometimes look i got sick and tired of the liars okay and it was really refreshing for me to have friendships on the show that weren't just the liars with each other so i really liked hannah and lucas's friendship and i actually really liked hannah and mona's friendship look i know what mona did bloody bloody blah but i support women's rights and wrongs at the end of the day because feminism do you know what i mean i really valued these kind of friendships because i did get tired of the girls let's not lie Le sometimes i needed a break do you know what I mean? Anyway, point is, sorry, I'm like going off in so many tangents. Hannah's like visiting Mona quite a bit in Radley, kind of without the knowledge of like Caleb or the liars. I think she gets help from Ren as well. Ren, I've got so much to say about Ren. So much to say about Ren. I might have to do it in another video. Like so much to say about Ren. Anyways, then at one point, Caleb joins Hannah to go and see Mona. And like, Caleb tells Mona to like back off from like Hannah type of thing and Mona like ends up going crazy I think they're playing chess so she's like she throws the chess board whatever so she goes absolutely crazy and therefore the doctors say that she's not allowed any more visitors so that's kind of when like that time like cuts off type of thing and then we have a scene after where Mona kind of like escapes her room and that's when we have the famous scene where she's like brushing a doll's like hair and she's like miss aria you're a kid and not ezra's wife maya knew yeah yeah maya knew was incredible i've spoken about this so many times but maya knew pff, wow yeah in the history books i fear do you know what i mean like you had to be there for it at the end of the day now one thing about radley the security don't know where they are do you know what? like people are going to escape radley like that is one thing like you are guaranteed someone will just casually leave radley at any point if they want to we get a few scenes i think there's one where mona's like dressed up as a nurse and she ends up leaving radley um and yeah like i said Bradley security we don't know where she is at this point like spoiler for what's about to come but there's a few characters who are just allowed on the roof at any time and i'm just like right 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 having roof access in a mental institution right then it's kind of like spencer's turn to have a little stint at radley a little cameo in radley after toby's kind of like fake death she kind of like goes off the rails a bit she loses herself and um we see her like she looks very traumatized crazy hair i think she was like covered in blood or things like that i think she only spent like three days in radley so um yeah, she is, she makes a short cameo within that time. I kind of enjoyed that time seeing kind of the main characters kind of like fall off the rails a bit and kind of go into the whole Radley thing I think was really cool for Spencer because Radley's a lot of where her life was born and she didn't really know it. So now looking back, I think it's actually really, really cool. But I mean, not for Spencer. Obviously, Spencer, I sympathize with you. Don't get me wrong. Don't get this sick and twisted. Do you know what I mean at the end of the day? But good for me as a viewer. <laughs> watching it <laughs> so then we have a whole thing regarding marion's situation at radley so eddie lamb good old eddie lamb miss aria do i recognize you from somewhere to eddie lamb him he um says that marion who is toby's mom went to radley at one point in her life his mom died at radley it was ruled an s word at this point but later on toby kind of gets messages from a alluding to the fact that the death was not actually an s word and was like something completely different um so spencer gets released from um radley and then later 
later on toby and spencer go back to radley to kind of like try and figure out what actually happened to Marion because like Toby obviously wants to know the truth about everything. Detective Wilden was the one to cover up Marion's death which doesn't make sense because he was 12 years old when Marion died. So unless Rosewood police are doing child labor don't know really what that is about. Spencer like questions Eddie Lamb because Wilden's report about Marion's death is very inconsistent um, and Eddie is like yeah I know. Yeah yeah i know so then mona actually goes back to radley because she like fake confesses to shooting wilden in order to protect ashley and get ashley out of prison so she's sent back to radley i don't know why these people aren't just sent to jail if i'm being honest anyway uh sorry no sorry let me go back i just called mona these people that's mona no no let me hold myself accountable that is not just a person. That is quite literally Mona. I sincerely apologize for the way I just spoke about Mona. I sincerely apologize. Mona has like a psych evaluation with Ren. And Ren and Mona, I think, used to work together at Radley. And I think that's why um, Mona kind of was able to sneak out as much as she could. So this time, she doesn't say anything to Ren because she's lost that trust. Um, so that was really, really interesting. Oh, Ren, no, what a character Ren could have been and he ended up just being a flop. My goodness. Veronica also goes to Radley, not herself, but she goes there to threaten Mona um, about like a whole like fake confession thing and like taking responsibility and like protecting her family and things like that. Um, so that happens but mona does get released because someone else confesses to oh no sorry cc becomes the main suspect in wilden's murder so next up we have the entire bethany young situation because the body inside allison's grave gets identified as bethany young and they found out that she used to be a patient at Radley. Eddie Lamb, before he kind of like disappears and like falls off a cliff, ends up giving Ezra a drawing that Bethany Young did of Jessica with like devil horns and like painted her as a really kind of like evil person. So Aria and Hannah go to Radley to try and find out more about Bethany Young and kind of like her history there and like who kind of like was she and did she have like any sort of connection to um Allison. Now when Aria is there she finds one of Bethany's kind of like old roommates called Big Rhonda. And she said that Jessica would supply Bethany with like gifts and she thinks it was related to Marion's death. So things are kind of connecting here. Things are connecting. Man, I really wish Bethany Young was like someone that we knew and wasn't just like a random girl. Like imagine if it was just like, I don't know. I think they could have rewritten Bethany for it to have been someone that we knew. I think that could have been really cool. Because the whole time I was watching it, like, for the first time, I suspected Bethany to be someone that we knew. And, like, when I found out it was just, like, some random girl, I was like, oh. Obviously, the whole Bethany situation, um, Bethany killed Marion and tried to frame Charles for it. We'll get on to Charles in a second, don't you worry. And then I think Jessica really tended to Bethany um, and really kind of, like, loved her. And they had that whole relationship because Jessica was having an affair with her dad. Jessica asked her to call her Aunt Jessie. Bethany kind of like went insane and wanted to get revenge for Allison. We know the story of Bethany Young and Radley and Jessica. That whole situation happens kind of like surrounding Radley really because Jessica went to go see Charles in Radley. Um... And also saw Bethany at the same time and kind of like took them on like play dates and like things like that. Um, Jessica was also like a trustee on like the board of Radley as well. So she held some power in Radley. Um, I love Jessica's character. No, listen, not morally. I've done a few videos on Jessica. Morally, I don't like her character, but I love the writing for her character. And I love kind of like the kind of like secret villain that she is 
love it love it very much anyway then we have the whole charles de Laurentiis thing we kind of know the story of charles i'll just go over it briefly charles got admitted into radley um as a child for hurting allison which i think was purely an accident to be honest i don't think it was intentional at all um and then charles eventually transitioned into cc um jessica had told everyone that charles died um so no one knew who kind of like cc was and that cc was charles um so jessica kind of brought cc up in radley during this reveal um sarah harvey um is trying to blow up radley so things get dramatic pretty quickly but we know the whole kind of like charles time in radley um cc spent kind of all her life in radley to be honest i don't think she really knew life without it um she went there as a child and we saw her kind of grown up there as well um so she kind of spent like a big portion of her life in radley as well as this later on we find out that mary drake was admitted into radley as well jessica was babysitting a child jessica called mary to help with the child because the child was crying and jessica ended up killing the child um and then blamed it on mary and that's why mary got admitted into radley um and then when mary was in radley she gave birth to cc and then the twins alex and spencer and jessica took all of the children away from her um and also i think jessica told mary that charles was dead as well so mary kind of went through a lot in radley um under kind of jessica's like power there and it kind of explains why she was like on a board of trustees however after the time jump after the cc reveal radley uh ends up kind of closing down as like the institution that it was and gets turned into hotels and is actually run by Ashley. Um, so that was a surprise for me after the time jump, just because like Radley was so important. And like I said, literally everything goes back to Radley, kind of like everything that starts the story with Bethany and Charles and Mary Drake and Jessica. Um, so I'm surprised they got rid of such a significant kind of like thing but during kind of this run of it being a hotel cc built like secret tunnels in it from her like radley time um and there was this whole thing about like noel jenna and sarah harvey trying to like discover treasure that um cc had left and things like that also there's a character leslie stone I forgot to say she was like one of bethany's roommates as well during her time at radley but, like leslie's leslie <laughs> So that's kind of it for the history side of it. But just like my overall evaluation of Radley, I love the concept of Radley so much. Just a building where so many secrets lie. And like, there's so much more to it too. Like Ren, um, his time working at Radley, he helped Cece with visit visitor passes um and i feel like he held so many secrets in radley and eddie lamb literally um told aria that run was really suspicious and then eddie lamb was like nowhere to be seen ever again so things like that as well like so many things happened in radley that really influenced kind of theories and plot lines and like suspicions regarding characters and i just find found it so interesting to have just like such a place which is just covered in secrets and such a focal point of the show without kind of being like a main thing if that makes any kind of sense but i really like the saying of like all roads lead back to radley i just think it's a really really cool saying because literally everything does start at radley and everything evolves from radley and it feels like like one thing was kind of birthed at Radley and everything kind of like grew. It was It's like a vine that kind of just like grew and grew and grew into many little like sub points and kind of like their own plot points that kind of, that in the end all like concluded and came into one and kind of like explains each other after each other if that makes any sense i think radley is such a cool 
place like with all like the secret tunnels as well and like the people like literally leaving whenever they want to and kind of like the fact that like the security was so bad like i joke about it but i generally think that was for a reason um because i think a lot of people in radley were very corrupt and i think they were probably really easy to manipulate so although like the security like allowed people to visit the roof anytime they wanted to um i think that was for a reason to show that radley was so corrupt and a lot of the workers who worked there were probably very corrupt and everything regarding marion's death as well and how that was like a cover-up i just think it's so cool the influence that radley has on the show and like i say i bash the writers here and there but i like to give them credit when credit is due i think radley was written so well and the suspicion over radley and almost kind of like the fear of radley and kind of what radley can actually produce and i find it very interesting that often when people left radley after their stay they weren't really fixed in that sense and they had actually learned more manipulation in radley which kind of influenced their life more like when mona came out of radley um she was not fixed by any means and she still held quite a lot of anger inside of her and a lot of wanting to get revenge rather than being fixed because it's kind of what she learned at radley and when Cece left um radley she'd heard the stories that mona had told her and therefore that influenced her to be a so i think it's really kind of telling that when people left radley it wasn't a thing of being fixed it was kind of like a break to fuel the hate and the anger and the revenge more also like i said i personally think jessica de Laurentiis was kind of like the true villain of pretty little liars and to have her so involved in it too i think really resonates with the point that everything kind of starts at radley because jessica kind of starts the entire show to be honest like pre allison disappearance she obviously had like her growing up with mary and setting mary up and taking mary's children away from her and things like that she kind of sets up the show um so i think to have jessica as well so involved with really important parts of radley like bethany um cc but also being like a trustee on like a board at radley i think really really holds its significance and really shows her significance in the show as well so radley is such a big thing for kind of like influencing characters their behavior and how the audience is supposed to view these characters along with being a place to hold so many of their own kind of like secrets um and like building from them and exploring their plot points more and i overall just really like how everything is kind of connected like bethany was in allison's grave bethany was in radley with cc had a connection with jessica de Laurentiis. um i think it is so super cool and then obviously the theories that were built from like when eddie lamb was like oh aria do i recognize you like that fed millions <laughs> that like one line fed so many theories for years i just think it's so super cool to have that at the focal point in your story so that is it for this video i would love to hear your opinions down below regarding radley and what you thought of having radley on the show and that whole place it's just so eerie like even just saying the name you're like wow like it's like eerie to think about radley make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys